Okay, in this video I'm just going to talk about charging batteries on the go and there's a few different ways that I'd kind of like set my camera up and use batteries and things and you know this is more in the case where I'm not using um, like a V-mount battery or anything like that I'm just using BLK22 batteries in the camera and this is just how I'd kind of make sure that I've always got batteries charging and I'm never going to run out of battery because I, you know I do paid work with this camera and there's nothing worse than you know being at a job and then you realize some of your batteries are not charged or you know you can have batteries die it just that just happens and you know you, you don't have backups because it's just embarrassing to be at a job and you don't have a you know a usable battery so I always make sure I've got like plenty of batteries with me like I as a, a general rule I kind of keep a, I've got a battery case you can see there's two batteries there I've got two more BLK 22s in there there's one in the camera so I've got plenty of batteries and I kind of I use a variety of kind of third-party ones and I've talked about that before so I'll, I'll link about that up in the corner but um, you know I, I use um, obviously I've got an official one that came with a camera and a mix of um, those kind of third-party batteries and you know maybe that you just have the one battery and if that's the case that's fine you know if um, you're just kind of using the using the camera you'll get about probably 60, 60 minutes of video battery life out of it. And then it may be that that's okay and then you kind of get a break, in which case you could, you know, as a very basic kind of option, you can either take this with you, the um, sled, if you were lucky enough to get a battery charger with your camera, a lot of them don't come with them now. Um, but, you know, you could kind of take that, that's a USB-C and you could kind of plug that into, you know, whatever you've got, whether if it's a, I always have a car charger handy as well and a few other bits, but you can kind of, um, you could plug that straight into something. So, I mean, I take a variety of bits with me. I'll always have, um, uh, this power bank here is the main one that I'll always bring. It's the Anchor Nano. I'll link up to a video in the corner that I've done about this, but it's great because, you know, it's just got a lead plugged into it. You can plug it into anything and it'll give off a bit of battery to everything. Um, you could do that. Obviously, if you've just got one battery, probably the easiest way is to charge it in camera. So you can plug the um, power bank straight into the camera. You'll see up in the corner, you've got the light on now. Um, this only obviously works for newer cameras if you've got that type of um, uh, the USB-C uh, power delivery option then that's great. Um, the Nano doesn't deliver masses of, of power, you know, if you need it all day, then you could probably look to something bigger, like the newer version of this is the, uh, this is the old power core. Uh, the new one is the Anchor Prime. Um, again, I've kind of done a video about this one, but like I say, the Anchor Prime is, is the newer one. I can kind of link to that. And again, you could just plug in a, a bigger power bank and do Sort of in camera charging should show up there we go and i also i keep this this guy in the car which is um i i usually will link this up to my um to my battery packs but we'll kind of get to that but you can do the same again on this it's uh it's just a power pack that has USB C out so i can plug that straight into the camera and the only problem with that for me is if you're doing uh, charging in the camera or you know you've only got one battery and it's in the battery charger obviously your camera's out of use so if somebody asks you oh can you just take a couple quick pictures of this or can you just do a couple of bits well you know you, your stuff's on charge your camera essentially is fully out of action so at the very minimum you know if you don't trust third-party batteries just spend the hundred odd pounds or 80 pounds or whatever it is to get another official battery or as I say, get yourself some third party batteries because there are some really good options out there and a lot of them will come with chargers. And the benefit to those is a lot of them come with dual chargers like this one here. So this is um, from the KNF concept BLK22 set. Um, I'm gonna do a video about that shortly. So if you wanna see that, just make sure to subscribe and stuff. It's actually, um, it's been a really good set. So I, I, I'll make sure that video is, is sort of coming soon. Um, but yeah, you know, I've got a few different ones of this. I've got the newer mover one. Uh, this is the KNF concept. But, you know, having a dual slot battery charger 
obviously if you've got um, more than two batteries then you know you can use that but if you've got two you can use the official charger just have one charge in 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 the dock um, and if you've got a camera uh, sorry if you've got a battery in there you're still not that limited as long as you've got two USB-C cables you know you can have one charging in the battery uh, keep saying in the battery one charging in the camera and then you could have uh, one running out to your Lumix charger like so, as long as you've got like a a couple of power supplies or you know if you've got your car then you can use like an inverter or something from the car or just a, a cigarette lighter charger and then you can see you can have two running there so you've got one charging in the um one charging in the camera and one charging uh in the battery uh, in the battery pack so that gives you another option so then at least if somebody asks you to do something whilst it's on charge you can kind of run out then and you you can um you can do other things whilst you've got like at least one battery charging so uh, that would always for me that would be like the bare minimum to have like two batteries charging and like i say for for me realistically i like to have these dual slot chargers so um you've got to go off brand to do it because lumix don't do one and it would be kind of crazy money to buy like a couple of these so um what I like to do is have one of these uh, two batteries in it and then just have that charging off. Like I say, I, I like to use this um, this power bank thing as, as long as I can get the camera back to the car and stuff to charge it. And then I'll just throw this into there and you'll be able to see this will do, I hope so if I switch it on, and then it will do a two battery charge. So then you've got essentially two batteries charging. You've still got your camera if you want to use that as an option for charging as well. Um, I mean, for me, like I say, because I've got the Lumix charger with the camera, I've also got that as a reserve. So if I wanted a third battery charging, I can do that. If you want to charge one in the camera, you can do that as well. Um, so like I say, for me, it, it really is just a case of, you know, I, I like sort of like backups on backups. It seems a bit ridiculous, but when you get to that point when you don't have a battery and you're doing paid work and you know you sort of either have to say I can't do it at the moment or you know you'll have to wait until the battery's charged it's not a particularly quick thing to charge a battery from dead so you know it, it's just really not a good situation to be in so um, yeah it's it's one of those things where you, you need a redundancy um, another really good good one, which um, I don't think I've got on my desk actually. I think I took it out the other day. Uh, oh no, here it is. Um, the another good redundancy is the um, BLK. Um, sorry, the the DCC18. So if you're completely out of battery, um, but you've got a little bit of um, power left in a power bank, um, this can be quite a useful thing because then you can just plug a power bank into this um, and I've got a full video about the um, about this dummy battery so I'll link that up in the corner but you can kind of take that and then in pinch you know if you haven't got a battery charged you can get your camera back on and working and <laughs> it sort of uh, it, it can get you out of a bit of a struggle if you've got no batteries left going that might be one way that you can kind of get out of that but like I say, for me, it's just um, I like to just have like lots and lots of redundancies for you know power when I'm kind of doing this stuff, and I'm not always using um, you know I'm not always using uh, bigger V mount batteries because they're not always practical for what I'm doing, and part of that is you know why I use kind of smaller cameras like the um, I mean it's it's not small in the sense of there are much smaller MFT cameras, but you know it's. Uh, it's small in the grand scheme of things with the type of lenses that you put on it. So it is one of those things where I don't always want to rig the camera fully out and I might want to re rely on these batteries, but I know I'm going to need, you know, for me, I, I can go through, you know, four, four of these in a day easily. So it, it's just, um, yeah, like I say, it, it's one of those things where you can just sort of think about the options you've got and you can kind of expand on it you know I didn't buy all of these things obviously in one go it was kind of 
I needed one thing so I got it and then just kept sort of expanding out to other things and you know it might be that you don't shoot anywhere near that amount of footage in a day so you know you could just have maybe one extra battery or have a couple on standby and you know you'll you'll be perfectly fine but I'll um I'll leave some links to like these bits in the um in the description or in the in the pinned comment and you can kind of check out some of these things but yeah if you've got any questions or you know you've got particular kind of workflow that you use I'd be interested to know in the comments so um yeah put that down below and if you found the video helpful give it a like if you want to see more content like this uh please subscribe